What's going on, guys? It's Nick Toth Lettermouse, and uh, often you see in movies, uh, someone will take a flare gun and shoot someone in self-defense, or like a last line of defense, and we're going to see what this does to somebody, or in this case, ballistic gel. So, we'll see. I have a 12 gauge. If it fits, it shoots. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, it's just like the movies. Yeah. <laughs> Marine Corps official fighting knife with my McMatt belt, just for all you beginners out there. I'll show you how it's done. So we're gonna, ooh, it's smooth. Let's go ahead and just make a few incisions here. <laughs> it's a nice little knife, actually. Yeah, it gets in Thank there. Thank you, Zach. Hey, do you see this? So it really worked like in the movies. Yes, it did. I thought it would bounce off the gel, you know? So the million dollar question is, it's still pretty warm too. Yeah. Would you rely on that round for home defense? I would. <laughs> if you live in a concrete house. Yeah, if you live in a country where you can't own regular firearms, a flare gun will work. Yes. Yeah. Just hit him in the eyeball. <laughs> or the crutch. <laughs> we got about what? I would say that's a good it's about a good two and a half, two and a quarter inch penetration right there. Not bad. That's I thought bad. it would bounce off that thing. Very good. And available at Walmart for 35 bucks. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Don't use them for home defense, please. <laughs> Talk later, folks. Alright, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's just like the movies. Yeah. It's gonna burn, man. <laughs> Put it out. <laughs> Put it out. I'd shoot another one.